Welcome to another game of Catan. This is game three of our Las Vegas airport series. It is approximately 3.20 a.m. And looking at this board, I'm seeing the 5.10.9 as an obvious placement, 3.48 uh, another obvious placement. It's hard not to take just the 5.10.9 here. Question is go down to the wheat port or go right to the ore, and I think I kind of want to go right here. Only concern is somebody taking the 6, 5, 12 and trying to cut us off. Um, but this is a pretty solid first placement. I'm trying to think what we pair with this. I mean, someone probably takes the 4, 5, 11. Maybe, maybe we end up with the 6, 11, 4, or even the 3, 8. Well, someone probably takes the 3, 4, 8. I mean, maybe even the 8, 4. But regardless, I mean, this is what we need to take here. And then we'll go right. Sorry, I meant the 8, 10. So some, I'm assuming someone takes the 3, 8, 4, in which case we take the, the 8, 10 here. So I think this looks pretty decent as a first settle. Um, we're playing Ore Wheat Sheep. It's been a while since we played Ore Wheat Sheep set up. We've been getting a lot of fourth placements um, recently, so let's see what happens. Um, but in second position here, you could take the 384, a little bit lower production. 4810 is okay. What else? So they do just take the 384. It's a nice, safe settlement. Going to go to this 3 to 1 port. So I'm assuming the 810 gets taken. I don't know if it's going to be left for us. If it is, that'll be a pretty crazy setup. Also, if we get the 4, 5, 11, that's a pretty crazy setup as well. A lot of ways to block it, though. But in third position, I think you take... Ooh, interesting. I think the 3, 6, 9 is a decent spot here. But he wants to go on ore, which makes sense. But now you're really leaving it open for fourth position. I think um, in fourth position, you take the 3, 6, 9... 9, 11, 10, maybe 10, 11, 3. And then just go full road. You can connect, get to this 3 to 1 port. Okay, they take the 4, 6, 11. Interesting. Okay. So they're on a lot of brick. I see what they're trying to do. So yeah, they're just going to stock up on the brick, go to the brick port. Also have the 3 to 1. So this is relatively open still. Let's see, is there any good ports for blue? I mean, blue could just take the 438 here and fight green for road. But then he's on no sheep. Yeah, I really didn't like his first placement on the 5611 here. He could also just do the 5210. Oh, wow, he's really locking himself in now. 4911. So what is red going to take? I'm pretty sure we either take the 3, 4, 8, or just the 8, 10, honestly. Only problem is we're really relying on this 5 to hit. It's 4 pips, so it's a pretty safe bet, but still, still a little scary. It's just this 3, 4, 8 doesn't help us a ton. But we'll see what red takes. I mean, if we get the... 11, 10, 3, then we have a pretty decent expansion to this 3, 8. But we're, we don't have a 3 to 1 port, though, is the problem. So I really just think the 8, 10's better. I wonder if red just takes the 8, 10. I mean, that's kind of gross, though, because he's just not on enough wheat. He could also take the 9, 12. Hmm. Taking the 9-12 is kind of interesting here, actually. I think if he takes the 9-12, we might just have to take the 2-9-10 and then cut green off to this 3-1. to one. Or if he takes the 8-10. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough pick. Tough pick for red. 
The 810 is not the worst decision, but it's just really, really slow. Honestly, he's by the wood port. I think the 348 is actually better for him. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty highly considering the 810. It's tough, though, because you also could take the 310 and 11 and go to this 384, even the 384 alone. It's just you can't do really anything with this wood, and, I, and Green's going to beat me to this 3-1 to one all day. So it's just what do you do with the wood then? doesn't really lend itself to a or wheat sheep game. Same with this 10 11 3. It's like I can get the free road to the 3 8, but I'm not close to a 3 to 1 port, so it doesn't help me that much. And even if I try to use this to cut blue off, green could still just cut me off just as easy to this 3 8 4. So it looks weird here, but I think I might just take the 3 8. I also have the ore port here, so I think this is the right decision. Yeah, we're going full or each sheep. All right, before I place, is there anything else that makes sense? Maybe the 8-4. Yeah. Yeah, Blue's uh, speaking my... Yeah. Haha. <laughs> we're going to take the 8-10. Yeah, that five is going to get blocked quite a bit here. Might as well place left. Definitely buying the dev card. No brainer here. Yeah, so we're going to have a trouble with weed. Also the 10. We're relying a lot on the 10 here as well. I still think it's better than the 384 though. I know people are going to put comments down and say the 384 is better. I mean, it's obviously going to depend on the rolls. But... But yeah, I mean, I think uh, okay. I could see him putting it on the five, in which case we're moving it. So he probably puts it on the 8. Oh, wow. So he just doesn't get a card there. I think that's just a bad block. <laughs> 6 actually hurts quite a bit. And we get the brick, which is nice. Green has cards as well. I think green just has more brick though. And red is fighting. Okay, we get the sheep. That's nice. Got another seven. I think it's going to go back on the five. Yeah, steals from us. Yeah, crazy right off the bat. So yeah, solid five block. Another five. Yeah, once red doubles up on this eight, he's going to be looking pretty good. And really, this five shuts us down. I mean, it's a this is a risk for sure. But I think in terms of fighting for army, unless our five just doesn't hit or we're blocked the whole time, we should be able to get it. Red's not on enough wheat. Blue's not on enough ore. Green is going to have a decent uh, setup, though, once he gets on this 384. He's not on any ore here, but he's going to be on a crazy amount of production. Okay, blue playing the aggressive knight. Does he put it on the 8? Oh, okay, he steals from me. I imagine he puts it on the 10 then, or the 5. Okay, the 4. I think that's decent. Green's probably going to ramp up quick. 
I've been getting robbed a lot for not doing much yet. But it makes sense. He's fighting for us. He's fighting for uh army here. It is kind of scary though. Once he's on this 310, there's a lot of incentive for him to cut us off at this 129. Okay, the fives were blocked. Does blue have wheat? Oh, the three hit, so I think red has wheat. So I think we're going to steal from red. I don't really like red's setup here, though. God, these coordinated sixes. I think once green gets to the... Uh, yeah, green's in a scary spot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I, th I still think he's going to do just fine, even without the ore here. I've made this mistake plenty of times, thinking that just because you're on no ore, you're going to lose. But, I mean, he's just on a crazy amount of production right now. Okay, red needs one more wheat for the city. I need to keep that in mind. He's on a crazy amount of ore as well. If we have the four for one, we might have the four for one. We need the knights. I really don't want a four for one though. This is a pretty crazy trade offer, but This looks ugly, but I think we need it here. At least we get another knight, but now we roll the five. Problem is, like, seven rolls and we, we lose all that ore anyway. Plus, we're gonna need a we're gonna need the knights regardless. But I don't think we're gonna get blocked too much here. I mean, it's clear that once green gets on this brick port, it's gonna be pretty scary. I think it's really going to be tough for red here, though. I mean, red and blue, honestly. I don't like either of their setups too much. But now that red's on this wood port, he's going to be a contender for sure. Alright, red force two, four for one. Which is good. He's in a scary spot though. Okay, we're gonna get the mono. That looks pretty good. We have to use it smart though. We're going to need a city here soon, though. We're behind on production. I do like to get my cities early on. But it's tough in a position like this. But red's looking really, really good. And his three just hit, so an eight's another city for red. Wow, okay. A lot of sheep on the board. I mean, it's not worth doing anything. We could mono the sheep, but that's just such a weak mono. Maybe we buy a dev card with it. But red's got to have this settle here. Wow, 
Wow, another three. He's getting a lot of good rolls. God, we might have to mono the wheat just so we can hurt. Just so we can hurt um, Red here. Slow him down. He's been getting lucky with those threes, but... I know uh, Red's sitting on a lot of wheat. Probably wants to save it, though. Okay, now he's probably going to double up on the five. That makes the most sense for red. I think he's been getting some pretty lucky rolls here, though. I think we can still, we're still in this. It's tempting to mono the wheat just so we can get to a city on this five, nine, ten. A lot of wood on the board as well. I think we just model the wheat here though. I know it looks ugly, but we need to do something. It hurts red. It gets us the city and a dev card. Yeah, that's huge. A little later for us than we wanted. Another four, okay, so red has sheep. Wow, red trades that. Wow, I can't believe he gave him that settlement. I think that's a bad trade. That's a bad trade all day. So green is at five, but red is competing with us. And he has the sheep. So I think we um, rob from red here. And we do get the sheep. Do we save for a second city? No, I think a lot of dev cards help us here. Yeah, so we are going to go for another one. Question is, do we want to play our second? I don't think so. I think we're we're good to leave it here. We have to keep our eye on green though. Steals from us. That makes sense. Okay, nice seven. Probably maybe puts it on the nine. We have army locked locked down. I think. So this is where finally getting those early devs helps us. I think I just keep locking that three though, just because it's what helps him get his uh, his wheat. Blue is done. I think it's clear why I'm robbing uh, red here. We're competing for army. Now we'll have our second city on this 810. Which we're going to do. I don't think we'll have to play another knight here. And I like it on the three. Yeah, that's a great block. So let's go to second city. He's going to steal our sheep here, but that's fine. No point in wasting a knight. So 
So now he's on, let's see, three sheep and I think three ore. So he really needs a wheat. Blue actually doesn't look that scary to me. Just because green probably gets road long term here. Okay, so we're going to put it back on the three. Oh, the three hits. That's crazy good for uh, for red here. It's almost tempting to put it on the eight, but... Okay, if we get a five, that'll be huge. We do get the three block. Yeah, it puts it right back on us. Yeah, this is actually not good at all because it's just now me and Red robbing each other. I have to keep robbing him. Orange gets arm. What does that mean? Oh, I get army. At least the three hurts green a little bit. Whereas the five doesn't hurt green at all. Blue's also sitting at seven with 11 cards. I can't imagine he doesn't have the city yet. Okay, I think the five might be a better block now because the five gives red a free card. That three's been real gracious to to red. Okay, finally a seven. You might honestly start stealing from blue here. Blue, I mean, just looks horrible, but. But, like, he might get this just because he hasn't been blocked at all. We get the wheat, and we have the sheep. Okay, we have another mono, which is huge. A lot of ore on the board now, but I think blue probably uses it this turn. Otherwise, we might just have to use it and keep buying dev cards. We need a road building or something to get us this 11-12. And by 11-12, I mean 9-12. Okay, so we don't have the road building. There's still, I mean, there's still another one. Question is, how many VPs have been pulled? There's also a lot of brick on the board, apparently. What's annoying though is we have to keep buying dev cards because red's at four nights as well. Okay, we do get the ore. God, it's really not worth monoing this though. So I think we just have the four for one.
Yeah, I mean, blue is actually at 8. They're just speculating that I'm at 8. Yeah, what's nice about that brick port is he can just keep uh, porting all of his brick away. Ah, oh, we could also mod. Oh, I already walled. God, modeling the ore looks good, but we might have to just do that. Can't really do much with it, but I mean, get more dev cards, but we really need to actually get somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that nine actually doesn't hurt us that much. Also, green could totally cut us off this 912, which is our only settlement spot. We have to go for it. I mean, we could also just go for the two dev cards, but red has one, blue has one, green might have one. Maybe we just go for the two dev cards. We have one. Yeah, there's still a mono in play. But this is the best, most efficient use of our uh, resources. Okay, so we got one VP then at least. I think there's still a mono in play. Blue might have just got it, though. I think all the dev cards might have been pulled, unfortunately. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in the best spot actually. See, I could get two devs, but it's, it actually doesn't help us. That'd be crazy if Red just had a knight right here. But he's been sitting on this for a while, so that's why I'm assuming it's just a dev card. And by dev card, I mean victory point. Actually, maybe that's not true. Maybe I am a fair contender. Okay, so red has a bunch of wheat for us. I only have two VPs is the thing. So if The thing is, there is a potential that green wins next turn. I would be surprised if he can't win. 13 cards. He's definitely sitting on at least 8 brick. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure he can take it here. That's the city. He doesn't have the settlement. Unfortunately, I need to rob. All right, just have to rob from, I guess. We don't get it, though. And the six hits. 
it was a risk, but we had to. Yeah, that's the problem when you have uh, too many people competing for or wheat sheep. Is this uh, this very thing happens? Well, that's GG. <laughs> we kind of let Green have it, but we just kind of fought for uh, fought for Army there. I think at some point Red should have just built to it. But what are we gonna do? Nines, tens, decent, um, decent play out. I think we could have pulled this. It's just we picked a fight with Red that we didn't want to fight, but. I mean, if we didn't block the three, he could have beat us out of army. So, I don't know. I'm happy with the placements, but I'm sure there's a um, thing that could have been improved during the game. But, anyway, that's our third game. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.